Hey everyone, Tommy J here and welcome to Take 2, a game in 2 minutes. Today, I'm here to show you Eon Command, a strategic tug of war style game developed by Backcountry Games. So in Eon Command, your main goal is to destroy the enemy mothership while defending your own in a tug of war style game. In short, you have no direct control over your units. Instead, you spawn them and they'll automatically move towards the enemy mothership, attacking everything in their path, so it's more about spawning the correct units as opposed to micromanaging units. There are three factions, each of which has a worker ship and then six units that are completely unique to each of them. You begin each game with only the worker and most basic ship unlocked and must unlock the rest as the game progresses. Your worker ships mine minerals, which can be used to research ships, upgrade ships, or spawn ships that you've unlocked. This creates a really interesting balance and separates the game a bit from other tug-of-war style games and does allow for variations in the strategies you use. Aside from minerals, there are two other resources, the first of which is energy, which lets you cast any of the three unique abilities that each race has, such as a heal over an area, a nuke, or an aura that speeds up friendly units' attack speed, just to name a few. The final resource is parts, which are used to give you upgrades that persist between games, such as making your workers gather faster, giving you more passive resource regeneration, or upgrading specific ships. So there are multiple modes that this game offers. Firstly, there's a tutorial if you need it. Next, we have the campaign, which has 24 missions split evenly amongst the races, giving them eight each. Some of the missions have unique objectives with some unique mechanics that are actually pretty great for learning the game as they step up in difficulty as you progress. After that, we have Skirmish, where you can verse a computer player of varying difficulty. You can choose one of the three factions, let the game pick one for you at random, or get a scrambled faction, which would generate you a faction to play by taking random ships from each of the factions to create a mixed race of sorts. There are also three game modes within Skirmish. First is Classic, which is just the normal map. Next we have Close, which means that both players will have much less space between each other, shortening supply lines and often leading to a shorter game. Lastly we have the Resource Mode, where the limit on the number of worker ships you can make is increased, but instead of the resources being only near your mothership, they spread the length of the lane, leading to some interesting games as you'll need to protect your overextended worker line. There's also online multiplayer with automatic matchmaking. Games generally last anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes, though it is possible to rush people down and have slightly shorter games. So the game's available on iOS, Android, Kindle Fire, Mac, Linux and PC, but how is the PC port? you ask? To be honest, it's surprisingly good. While you can't rebind keys, you do have full mouse and keyboard control, and you can choose to use either one of them or both at the same time. Remember, if you want to check out the extended video on Eon Command, click the link in the description to head over to my other series, I show you games. Thanks for watching, this has been Tommy J, have a good one.